Hi, it's Mary. Welcome to the Paper Turtle. Um, today, <clears throat> I am just going to make a big, huge mess, I think. And um, get out your stuff and either craft along with me or do your own thing or uh, just sit back and watch and laugh, I guess. <laughs> what I am working on, I'm going to play with paper. And I'm going to play with, I've got some coffee, I have inks, I have paints, I have sprays, I have all kinds of things. And my, my goal today is to just kind of I, I play with paper and create some interesting, oh, this is kind of thick, create some interesting papers to use in my journals. I, um... I've watched other people do similar things and I really like the look and the effect and I don't dye paper so I thought maybe I would try this way to get some interesting looking papers I don't know how this is going to come out I've never done this kind of stuff before so I'm just going to throw it out there and play and see what happens I because I don't I really honestly don't know what I'm doing um the first thing that I'm going to do, so I've covered my desk, okay? I've got brown paper. I have my craft mat that I searched high and low for. Oh my gosh, it was driving me nuts. I could not find this mat. You know where it was? Underneath my other mat on my table. <laughs> yeah, you would have cracked up because it. I was looking everywhere. It was driving me nuts. I've got everything covered and... Um, I don't know. I don't know. I'm ready to play. So the first thing I'm going to try, though, is something that I have seen um, Barbara at 49 Dragonflies do. Now, if you haven't watched her, you've got to go watch her. She, I don't know who hasn't watched her because uh, I think she's like one of the best people out there. Um, I have kind of a little girl crush on her, I think. <laughs> Um, I love her work. I absolutely love her work. I love watching her videos. I love how they sound. I love what she does. Um, I love her style. It's not my style. I can't do it. I wish that I could because I absolutely love it. But what I'm attempting to do is take some of her techniques and incorporate them into my own style and hope that they come out looking half as good as hers do. Um, I'm not real good with like mixing colors and stuff. So that's something that I'm practicing and I'm working on and, and everything, but I don't know. Let's, I'm just going to, I'm just jumping in and, and trying this weird thing. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to take some ink and I'm going to start with our old, uh, old faithful here. And, oh, I meant to put more water in here. That's all right. If I need some, I've got my water jug here with me. Um, I'm going to start with our old faithful a vintage photo and some water and see what I can do with this. Now, I know there's a difference between distress ink and distress oxide. Distress oxide reacts to water. I don't know. I, I think I can do the same thing with this and it'll work just fine. We're going to try it and see. I'm hesitating. Can you tell? I'm procrastinating here because I don't, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just, I'm playing and I'm scared, but I'm going to just jump right in and do it. So get yourself some inks, some water, some paper, um, and let's see what we can do here. I don't know, but this is what she does. So she smushes the ink onto her craft mat or, a, um, piece of acetate or plastic or something and my ink pad I think is like almost dried up and then she'll take water and spray it on there and then I hope this what I'm doing over here is in camera am I yeah okay and then she just smushes her paper on there and and it just, it dyes your paper, really. So 
So I'm just smushing and I'm just like wiping all that up. So there's some ink splotches on there. Now I want to do a different color just to see, just to see how this is going to come out. I don't know. And this is a different kind of ink. Um, <clears throat> okay not too bad it it would make interesting paper I think I'm going to do a little bit more of this blue So what I, I've been wanting to do this, to play around with things like this for a while. And what prompted me to do it was I started on that new journal. And that's my sample journal. And I was getting ready to um, make the signatures. And I thought, well, you know, I need some new and interesting paper. And... Um, So I thought, well, this would be a good time for me to play around with this little this little experiment here and see if I can come up with some interesting paper to put in my sample journal. So that's what I'm doing. I think this can probably be done a little bit uh, quicker than what I'm doing. I don't know. But I'm figuring it out. All right, well, it's it's kind of interesting. I'm going to try spritzing some coffee. Now, um, other people that I watch, they keep a bottle of coffee. And I think that um, Barbara does this, this too. She keeps a bottle of coffee. And she just, if she needs some paper to be coffee dyed, she just pulls out a bottle and does it. So... I thought, all right, well, let me try it. I don't know if I made this coffee dark enough, but we're going to see. So I have that. And I think what I'm going to do is sop it up with another piece of paper. One thing I don't have right here is a good place to dry my paper. So... Well, it's it's okay. It's it's interesting. I think that's kind of interesting. We'll see what that looks like when it dries. So I'm going to just set it over here and hope it doesn't take too long to dry. So now I have <clears throat> this one. And let me just soak up. And I'm going to be trying all different things today because... I don't know what I will like best. I don't know what I want to do in here. So I have inks over here. Here, I'll show you. This is my ink drawer. And I have, some are spray inks. Um, some are um, like this Glimmer Mist. I've got it's alcohol. I have some egg coloring. Maybe we'll do something with that. Um, I have some walnut ink, I have some Mr. Huey's, all different stuff in here. I don't know how some of this works, I don't know, um, some of it I've never even used. I have smooch spray, probably some of this isn't any good, I don't know, I haven't used it in years. Let's see if, what we can do with this. Oh, that's interesting. That's really pretty. Um, let me take a dried up. I have so many uh, little packages of dried up uh, baby wipes. <laughs> I guess they'd be good for this kind of stuff.
that's kind of interesting, right? Yeah. Um, what else? A little bit of coffee. Maybe some of these spaces here. Kind of like the look. And I figure I'm going to do different, use different kinds of paper. And then, um, then I can use the papers for different things, not just like pages, but, um, I could use punches on them and punch shapes out of them. Um, I can use them to make pockets or embellishments or whatever. So I thought I would also use some book pages. Um, where are my book pages here? Pull out a couple of these. I'll do a few of them. This is a Reader's Digest book. Always good for making pockets and things, right? All right, so um, what is this here? This is Wendy Vici Designer Series Mica Spray Cornflower Blue. I have a lot of blue stuff. <laughs> I think I must, uh, I think I have a thing for blues, which I do. I use a lot of blues. I don't know what this does. I don't know what it looks like. We'll try it. It looks gray to me. Hmm. I don't see much blue in there. When it dries, maybe? I don't know. Let's mix it with some Glimmer Mist. Let's see what that will do. I've been dying to use these sprays. Um, I've had them forever. I bought them to go with... Uh, to do scrapbooking with, and I never used them. I probably saw them demonstrated at a scrapbook store and had to have them because what they did with them was cool. And then I got them home and didn't do anything. Right, these, these don't seem to be doing too much for me. Um, not crazy about anything here. So how about if I, let's see, you know, I like, color. I always like lots and lots of color. I'm going to find a spot that isn't already. And I'm going to use some of this um, shaded lilac. There's my color. Some water. And I'll just dip these papers in it. Well, that definitely adds some color. <laughs> I'm just smushing it around. I'm not even doing anything. <laughs> That's all right. It'll it'll uh it'll give me something in the end, right? I don't know what. It'll give me something. And you can do the front and the backs. Huh. Yeah, this, this, these aren't, maybe it's the paper just not taking the, the colors real well. I don't know. Um, so let's go with something that has a lot of color. Um, let's try some watercolors. I um, don't use my watercolors all that much. 
I don't know like the proper way to use them because uh, I don't know I'm just not a not a painter or an artist but what I think I'm gonna do is A little bit of purple up here I want to soft up. This paper, this book paper is not absorbing the the uh, the wet very well. But let's see if we can do something else with it. Um, I'm going to stick with the purple. And I'm going to see if I can... I don't know. I don't know if I'm doing this right. I need lots and lots of water to get this to do what I'm picturing. But I also want lots of color. You're all yelling at me, telling me what I should be doing. I know, but, <laughs> but I don't know. Well, that certainly gives it color. I just don't know if I like the, the streaks. thought we do this. Oh, I ripped the paper. Is this doing anything for you? I don't know. I kind of like the purple. Hmm. Well, I'm going to set that aside to dry. I don't know. I don't know if I like it. Um, I don't have a cup of water to rinse my brush off. Oh, Mary, you didn't think. I have, I have water. Hold on. And I have a cup. So we shall create a cup of water. This is my drinking water. There we go. Let's try this blue right here. Maybe there's like a better way to get the color on there. Let's just try this. I think I want like big splotches. And then have them move. Yeah. <clears throat> I feel like this is like such small scale that I should be doing this in bulk or something <laughs> instead of one little piece of paper at a time. And probably if I got a a technique down that I like that I feel 
is something that I want to do on multiple papers, I would do that. But right now, I'm just trying to figure out how to get color on the paper and to get some interesting looking papers. So what if I mixed another color? Like, what have I got in here? Here's a, a vintage pink. Let's see what that looks like. This glimmer mist, if it's been sitting a while, you have to shake it up really good because it settles um, all the, the mist stuff, the glimmer part, um, settles down in the bottom of the thing. I like that color. That's kind of pretty. All right, let's see how that looks when it's dry. There's a lot on there. Transfer some to this one. I'm making mud. <laughs> that one might look kind of cool when it's dry. We'll see. All right, this guy is getting yucky looking here. I like that. May not be bad once it's all dry. Um, and here's where I don't I don't know how to like mix colors to make it look good. I'm gonna throw some of this bright pink in there. Kind of pretty. We'll see how that looks when it's dry. Um, all right, what else? What else um, should I play with here? I like the sprays. They seem to work pretty well. The watercolor's not bad. I have... Oh, you know what I want to try? I want to play with this. You probably have seen this in a recent haul video. It's this old notebook that I bought, and it's got someone's... Um, notes in it so I thought maybe I could tear out a couple of pages and do something with those what do I want to do with them let's do some coffee on them I don't know how these are going to take water I think, you know, some papers absorb it better than others. Um, I don't know. Maybe that's all I want to do. Maybe I don't want to do too much on these. Maybe just a little bit of color. Just a little bit. Just a couple little spritzes. It's not showing up well. Hmm. Okay. It'll give it a glimmer. Where's the, um, this one? This one has a pretty good color in it. <clears throat> Just a little bit. Oh. Oh. A little heavy. Okay, one more. And move it around. Hmm.
they're not they're not bad not bad i'm gonna grab a paper towel though and i'm gonna actually no i'm not gonna do a paper towel yet i'm gonna do a piece of paper let's do this this bright yellow paper how's that there we go Well, <laughs> that just took all of the color off of the paper that I was trying to dye and transferred it to this paper. All right, let's put that over there. Um, hmm. How about some watercolor? We'll do this coffee colored watercolor. See what that does. If anything. I don't know if I'm accomplishing too much here, you guys. <laughs> but I'm experimenting. I'm trying. And if nothing else, I, I might have some um, fun paper in the end. I don't know. We'll see. Um, I think I need more water. Oops, I didn't mean to touch it. I don't want to touch it. <clears throat> You know, it's, it's fun to experiment because you have to figure out, you have to experiment. Otherwise, you, you won't ever do anything different. Why is this not splattering? Um, if you don't experiment, you'll never know how something's going to come out, you know? So, get out your stuff and just just try it. All right, now that is too much. <laughs> oh. See, I get frustrated and I just say, okay, let's just smoosh it around. I don't like the lines. Get the lines out of there. All right, I need my, um, now I need a paper towel. Now it just looks like dirty paper. I want to get the lines out. That's kind of cool. It does look like dirty paper though. Um, I want some more of the blue I think what some of this Don't ask me why I'm doing that. I just see other people spritzing their a lot of water. <laughs> well, I kind of like that. I don't like that right there. It's not too bad. It's a color. All right, I'm going to let those dry. Um, 
I'm going to have some interesting paper. Okay. Now, I wanted more paper that I can put in as signature pages. I'm going to grab some music paper here. I've got this good music book here. I'm just going to grab a couple of these. Do one at a time here. Um, shall we start with the coffee? Because I think it needs a little aging. Enough? Too much? I don't know. <laughs> and... I don't know. What should we put in there? How about some green? I'm going to do this green, I think. By doing this like so wrong I don't I, I don't know I know I need to stop just stop saying that and just just play Mary told you this is so experimental I kind of like the green in there. Just the little bits of, of it. Not like a whole lot. And it kind of runs together with the coffee. But now I have these pools of coffee on there. That I think I'm going to have to soak up a little bit. Because it, it's not going to... Um, It'll take hours to dry. And I think that the next time I'll add a little bit more coffee in because it seems to be very um, light. And some of these papers may not dye very dark. Hmm. Yeah, that's. I think it's going to be really light. But we'll see. I'm going to set it aside. We'll let it dry. And I think what I'm going to do with this one is I think I'm going to do some ink with this one instead of the coffee stuff. Let me just move this stuff aside for a minute. And we might get back to it. But I was just thinking, I think I want to do the inks because I think I want to, maybe not on this paper, but on the next one, I want to do some stenciling. So I'm going to try do this again and see how this paper takes this method. Boy, I got that all over the place. See, some papers, I think, absorb 
much better than other papers. And this does not seem to be absorbing well. What if I could just do this? That's not, that's not good. Hmm. Wow. <laughs> now there's some color. I'm just going to do this because... The wrong way to do it. All right. I don't think that hurt my ink because it's just water. Well, it's dyed. Not exactly what I was going for, but we'll see how that is when it dries. Um, all right. What I want to do now, I think... I want to do some stenciling with what? All right, here's a piece of paper. And my stencils. I'm running out of room. I don't have any place to put anything. My work area is very small because I've got too much stuff piled up on here. Alright, let's find a good stencil. I have this. And, oh, oh and I want to play with this. Remember I got this in a haul? Somebody suggested using it as a stencil. Somebody suggested using it as a stamp. I also have this plastic um, doily stuff. Yeah, let's play with that for a minute. Um, what do I want to use, though? How about this? This kind of has a little bit of um, sticky on the back of it so that you can stick it down, supposedly, I guess, so it doesn't move on you. Let's see how this works. Did that do anything? Eh. Eh. Not really. Not too much to my liking. Let's... <laughs> okay, now we're making a mess. Yeah, I didn't, didn't care for that. All right. Now that didn't work very well. I mean, you can see it a little bit, but I don't like how that worked. I'm, I'll try it with ink, but for now, I don't like that. Let's see how this works. Now, you know, maybe I'm not using the right stuff. I don't know. That's okay. Um, it's not like not wonderful. It's the, the big white spot in the middle is what I'm not crazy about. Um, yeah. 
We'll just use this. I'm probably doing this all wrong. Well, this is like the funniest looking, um, <laughs> the funniest looking stencil page. <laughs> hmm. Interesting. Yeah. I mean, I'll use it. I'll use it for something. It's not. It's not a. Uh, it's not wonderful. That's all right. It's experimenting, right? Yep. Yeah. Let me absorb some of this with something else. <clears throat> I have, I picked out all kinds of different papers and things to, to use. Okay. Um, let's try... Some, just plain old inking with stencils. Where did I put my... This is what I want. And I think I want some... What about this? No, this. This is old paper. And it kind of gives a, a greenish tint. Why is it wet? Oh, I guess the stencil was wet. Yeah, that looks kind of good. That's probably about the, the best one that I've done today. <laughs> That's pretty. Um, let's see. And probably, um, not setting a real good example here, <laughs> but what are, if you take away nothing from this video, take away the idea of experimenting. That's what you should take away from this video because That's what we have to do. If we don't try things, if we don't experiment, and if we don't let ourselves just make a big old mess, um, then we'll never know what works and what doesn't work. You know, we can watch all the YouTube videos that we want, but if we, if we don't try these things ourselves and try different things just because it's on a video doesn't mean it's the way or the only way to do something if you try and you experiment you can come up with a new way of doing something that might suit you um 
so definitely get your stuff out and do your own experimenting and trying different things because um, it really is the only way to figure out what you like and what works for you or what doesn't work for you. And you have to, you have to just be brave and just try it. You know, okay, so maybe this isn't like the best, the best um, stenciling job in the world. Maybe it's not a piece of paper that you would use. But you know what? Get you out your stencils and try your experimenting. And maybe you'll come up with something that, that you like. I mean, it's not horribly bad. And I, I would use this in my journal, and I will, because it's mine. And um, it's a, it's a, my experiment, you know. But I think what I'm also going to do on the back of it, because this will be, if this is going to be a signature page, both sides will be seen. So I think I'm going to go ahead and spritz some coffee on here and see how it comes out. I don't know if it's going to react with the ink on the other side or not. And where's my, my blue spray? I like this stuff. Smooch spritz. I wonder if I have another one of these in a different color. It's got, it's a very bright color. I like it. I'm just going to let that dry, I think. Do I have any of those smoochy things? No, it doesn't look like they do. I have to keep my eye out for that. Um, it's called Smooch Spritz. I don't know who made it. Made in the USA. I got it at a scrapbook store a long time ago. I don't know. All right. We'll let that dry and see how that comes out. How are my papers doing over here? Have any of them drying? They're all stacked on top of each other, so they're probably not drying at all. Let's see our first one. Here's our first one. Um, it's got some color. It's not. It's not bad. It's um. Uh, you know what I could do? I could stencil on it. Right? Um, let's see. Where's my stencil box? Ooh, this would be pretty. Isn't that pretty? Let's use salvaged patina. That's going to be very bright, but I like it. You know, I like color. Ooh, I like it. I like it. I like it. How am I doing on time? Okay, not quite an hour yet. We can go a little bit, a little bit longer. Mm. 
Yeah. That looks pretty, don't you think? I think it does. I like it, like it, like it. So this one will go in my new journal because I do like it. I think it's pretty, pretty. Think about that. Turn your stencils in different directions, unless you're going for a, um, a particular pattern or design. I like that, and I think I'm just going to leave that like, right like that. <clears throat> now the back of it is, is plain. Um, should I do something on the back of it too? Because it's, again, it's going to be folded into my journal. I don't want to do too much, though. I don't want to ruin this. Um, what should I do? What should I do? I think I'm just going to spritz a little bit. Just a little bit. Not too much. Just to give it a tiny bit of color. There. That's that's good. That's good. All right. That's going to be a good page for in my journal. I like that one. All right. What else do we do? Sorry about knocking the thing there. How about these book pages? How did they come out? Whoops. I dropped one. They're still wet. Well, they're not bad. I can do something with these. I can maybe make some tags or some pockets or something with these. They're not too bad. Um, I could do a little bit of stenciling on them too. Let me see what I might have that would look kind of cool on here. I have this. Have some smaller leaves. If we, I don't want to do a lot. Maybe just a little bit. Here and there, yeah. Kind of like it. Gives it a little bit different look, right? Yeah. That's kind of cool. All right. I like that one. This one, um, let's do these leaves. Again, not too much. Ooh. Kind of like that. Pretty, pretty, pretty. See, I think sometimes you just have to just kind of let go and just play. I don't want to overdo it. Maybe one in the middle. 
lightly. There. That's, that's not bad. I kind of like that. All right. We're getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere. Right? Yeah. They're still wet a little bit. So I'll put them somewhere. Somewhere. I don't know where. I'm running out of space. <clears throat> And what else have we got? What else did we do? We did this one. Um, I, I like that too. Do we need stenciling on this one? I should do stamps. I might have... Uh, I think I'd have to dig around for my stamps. I didn't pull them out. I should have. Um, let me just see what I have right here. Um, I don't know if I want to do any of these. This one's not bad. Let me, let me place, do something with that one. <clears throat> Maybe this one. Hmm, I think I'll use this. Oh, where I got these stamps. Oh, I think I bought these at a local store. Yeah, we there's a there's a local um craft scrapbook art store. And um I went in there and I you know, I always feel like I should should buy something when I go into those places. So, I found these stamps that are kind of pretty. I'm going to Like that. That's pretty. I don't do too much. Don't do too much, Mary. I can't help it. How about one of these two? have these little postage like things what do you think too much I never know when to stop um Should I do this one too? I don't know. Probably not, Mary. You probably should stop. It's okay, and it's going to be used as background paper. So I think it's all right. Um... If I don't use it for background paper, I'll use, I can use it for collaging. Because that's another thing that you can do with this paper that you create. You can use it for collaging. You can use it for um, your journal papers. You can use it to make um, um, pockets and tucks and things like that. There's, I mean, there's so many things that you can do with this miscellaneous created paper, is what I'm going to call it. It's created paper. 
So on the back of this, that didn't that didn't throw me. This this didn't throw me. It's okay. It's all right, but it's not. Um, I don't know. I'm just gonna coffee dye this, the back of this, just so that the back of it will have some color color or something on it. I hate these things. Sorry, Stampin' Up. I love your your products. I love your stamps, but these these things they get me every time. I cannot I cannot handle them. <laughs> This is how I dye paper. I'm not doing the whole soaking and doing it in the oven and all that kind of crap. Can't do that. All right. So that one's drying again. Uh, how are we doing with other paper here? Let's take a look at this one. Those aren't bad. I like those because it has the handwriting already in the background. I like I like those. I like how they came out. I'm just going to leave them, I think, because I won't use these as um, a signature page. I'll use these as background to collage or um, something like that. So I like how they came out. They came out really nice. And they're still drying, too, of course. Um, well, how much time we got? We're just about out of time. And I don't know if I actually did everything that I really wanted to do today. But I did get to play. And I'm going to keep playing, I think, after I turn the camera off. Just because I've got all this stuff out. So I might as well do something with it. And if I do something really interesting or um, <laughs> intriguing. I'll tell you about it in the next video. But I think for now, I think that I'm just going to say that this was my, um, my experiment for the day. And I hope you had some fun and I hope you uh, maybe even played along with me. I'm going to do something else on this one because that one, that one's nothing. I don't like it. Um, so yeah, just play, just get your stuff out and just make a mess and play with it. Because, you know, if you don't, it's just going to sit there on your shelf and you're never going to use it. And you may, in playing, you may find a new way of doing something, something fun that you really like, something that, that looks good to you, that, that becomes your thing. Who knows? I don't know if I found my thing here today. <laughs> I found something. <laughs> I do I did end up with some good papers that I will use in my in my journal. You'll see them coming up. Um okay, thanks for watching. Thanks for playing along with me and we will see you next time. Bye-bye.